My name is Abraham Dackman. I'm a professor of radiology at the University of Chicago and director of fellowship programs. I've been doing uh, research and work on virtual colonoscopy for about 14 years. The main advantages of CTC over other screening tests is that it's minimally invasive. It does not require sedation, therefore it's amenable to an outpatient setting. Patients who have it can return to work the same day. I do expect CTC to become one of the primary screening tests for colorectal cancer screening. Patients have been calling us for years and asking for it, and I think once there's reimbursement, that volume will increase tremendously. Then I think radiologists will make the effort to be fully trained, uh, and there will be more movement on uh, things like certification and quality assurance. We know that reading a CTC case is not terribly hard, but does require adequate training. And someone who's interested has to invest the time and energy to learn how to read it properly with adequate quality data sets. And the challenge is how do we do that with large volume of radiologists nationally? CAD for the CTC exam can have two very important positive effects. One is it's the great equalizer. It will help make the novice reader closer to the expert reader when they're beginning to read. And even for the well-trained moderate expert, even advanced expert, it might increase confidence of interpretation. Some of the biggest advantages of using CAD are increasing sensitivity, possibly increasing specificity, and it should have a minimal effect on reading time, in our experience, adding only about three minutes to the reading time. In the future, CAD, computer-aided diagnosis, will incorporate various tools to help the radiologist, for example, tools to help measure polyp size, polyp volume, help compare a polyp on follow-up exams to see if it's changed or increased in size, and possibly some cutting-edge research on polyp characterization. Even if there was no direct reimbursement for CAD, I would still strongly recommend using CAD for CT colonography because most of the errors that are made, even by experts in clinical trials, are errors of observation, meaning a polyp is visible in retrospect, and that's where CAD has its strongest application. I have every reason to believe that ICAD's colon CAD tool will eventually become an extremely useful and generalized tool uh, for interpreting CTC.